Hi, folks. Cowboy here. So I'm outside in our catico for our three cats. Well, it used to be for our four cats. Now, I'm sure that you may be able to hear some thunder in the background. And uh, you may be able to hear the rain falling on the roof. Now, in my lap right now is Marilyn. And Marilyn, of course, is a, a little tuxedo cat. We uh, have her brother, and his name is Monroe. So, hence, Marilyn and Monroe. And we rescued them. They were attacked by some um, German shepherds. And our neighbor out on his farm was able to rescue them and wanted to know if we would take them. And, of course, we did. Now, we did have four cats, and you know, animals, as I told you before, when we were talking about our new puppy, uh, they become part of the family, and uh, they uh, mean a lot to us. They, uh, they calm us down, they love us, and we love them. Now, the little cat that we just lost, her name was, we called her Kitten but um, her real name was Snowball. And I'll try to put a picture of her so that you can see that. But she was 19 years old, and so uh, she had just grown old, and well, there comes a time and a place where you've gotta do what needs to be done. Now in just a minute, we may have another little cat come into place, and her name is Tuna. And I see she's went back down the tunnel and it's probably gonna go back in because of the rain, because the tunnel is in the rain. But we rescued her from uh, Alatoona Lake. And of course, we wanted to come up with a name for her, and so we named her Tuna, T-O-O-N-A. And she's a little gray tabby, and she's sweet. And you can see how sweet Marilyn is here as well. Now, of course, since we got the little puppy, well, they, uh, they're a little skittish. That's why I wanted to come out and just sit with her and enjoy a little time with her. Her brother is in the cat tree in our family room, and uh, he comes out oh, early in the morning and stays a good part of the day, and then when he finds the time that he can go in, he goes. But this catico is uh, about 8 by 10 feet, and it's pretty much a wire cage if you'd like, but they can come and go as they please. They can go through the little tunnel and through a cat door that goes into our uh, kitchen. And uh, well, that little dining room area in the kitchen. But it's a lot of fun. They enjoy being out here uh, and taking in the outdoors. So this is what they are when it comes to being an outdoor cat. This is how much they like. Now, you can't have that little girl. But, it is a lot of fun with to have animals in the family. And I know as I grew up, we always had cats and kittens. And I grew up in a little place in, where we were back in the hills of Tennessee. And we always had cats and we always had dogs. Uh, and they're, uh, they're just great to have part of the family. It teaches children and adults a lot about... Um, things in life, particularly how important these little animals are to us and how important it is uh, to, to look after them. So I would um, uh, implore you, if you have the opportunity to rescue an animal, uh, please do so. Now, uh, I'm not really going to cook anything today, but I just wanted you to meet some of my other pets, and you can tell that... Uh, Marilyn likes to rub on my beard, and uh, our little kitten that we lost due to her age, uh, every night she would come up and she would get in my beard and sort of, as some people call it, knitting. Uh, but uh, anyway, she was a sweet little girl. So maybe Tuna is going to come into the picture and you'll get to see her as well. Come here, Tuna. I don't know that she'll come up, but she might jump up. And, of course, you know that we've got to have a little cup of cowboy coffee to enjoy this. 
evening with our pets and enjoy the rain. You know, there's something about rain falling on a roof like this or a tin roof. It's calming. It uh, makes us sit back, ponder. And I really enjoy coming out here sometimes and just sitting. And of course, you can see and hear the thunder in the background. And of course, I'm sitting here. It's raining, not getting wet at all. So our little cats have got a place to be in the dry if it's raining. I put them a litter box out here in case they need to go here and they've got some water if they need it. And of course, if they wanna go over inside, they got a direct shot right into the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to some of my other pets. Tony, you wanna come up here? Come here. Well, it looks like she's not going to come up. And I know Monroe is not going to come up. Monroe's, he's a pretty big kitten. Not kitten, but cat. They're two, two years old, and Tuna will be a year in October, I think. Maybe a year in August next month. So, um, looks like we're going to have a little bit of rain. The rain is good. Waters the grass. Waters our trees. Puddles up for uh, the animals to drink. So I hope that you will enjoy the rain when it happens. You know, a lot of people say, oh, it's going to rain. Yeah, it's going to rain, but we need the rain to give us water. Because as you know, water is one of the substances of life. And you know, our body is made up of 95% water. And if we don't have that water, well, that's not a good thing. So enjoy the rain when it comes. There's nothing back, nothing as good as just sitting back and having a cup of cowboy coffee with a little nice, slow drizzle of rain on a tin roof. Or like this one which is a plastic hard plastic roof clear but it still sounds almost like a tin roof now for those of you that grew up in a house with a tin roof like me you understand what I'm talking about and those of you that haven't ever slept in a house with a tin roof well my friends you are missing a treat and as usual, y'all have a good evening, and I'll see you on down the trail. Oops, I see Tuna over here in the background. Can you see her? She's right down there. Come here, Tuna. Come here. She may show an appearance. Don't think she's going to. All righty. Let's travel on down that trail. Just a little insert here. There's Tuna in the background. Little gray tabby. She's sweet.